Hi there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. Hi, I'm Paula Deming. Paula Deming is here with me helping to cover some E3 trailers yeah. that we were spreading out these reactions throughout the week. Paula, games. speaking of games and E3 and all that crap, she has her own YouTube channel where yeah. she does Let's Plays on there, talks about gaming, board gaming even yeah, too lately. Yeah, I do talk about board games. Board mm -hmm. games, video games. Streaming yeah. on Twitch. That's right, I stream on Twitch. Just look for my name, twitch.tv slash Paula Deming. Yes. Come uh, join me for a blind Let's Plays. And uh, follow her on Instagram. She dresses in suits. It's not sexy. Anyway, we're going to watch this new trailer called Ghostwire. It depends on your taste. Ghostwire Tokyo. Uh, this is a brand new game. Uh, you know what? Let's just go into this. Let's just let's, watch let's it. see what's I've, going on. Yeah. Peggy 16. I love that. <laughs> Those look like real Japanese people. Life looks bleak. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh my gosh. They look freaking <laughs> creepy, those hands. Raiden. <laughs> yeah, really great. Out of Mortal Kombat feel going on there. Oh, damn. We got to watch, like, the presentation or something. Yeah, I want to know more I about this. I want to know more about it, too. That looks so creepy but cool. And it's got, like, yeah. magical. When, when all those people... I'm going to nerd out over just, like, the way it looked. Like, the effects Please of it. Please do. Like, it looked so cool. The transitions. I will never get over how good and real video game animation looks now. Mm -hmm. Like, some of that stuff, it looks so real. It looks like people walking through the mall. And then just when they disappeared and the way their clothes, just their empty clothes fell to the ground was so cool. Oh, the hand, the fingers yeah. on, like the creepy guy, whatever they are, we don't know because the trailer didn't tell us. Looks like a twisted Guillermo del Toro movie meets like traditional J-horror with this action adventure mix in yeah. between it all, you know? Because I've been getting into anime a lot yeah. lately. Nothing freaks me out more than J-horror. Really gets under my skin, and that stuff just looks so insane to me. But then you got this character who does remind me of Hawkeye in uh, Avengers yeah. Endgame, <laughs> especially in the, like the, bow <laughs> in the rain in Japan. It just seems so much like it. Uh, and yeah, the effects do look mesmerizing. I like the mood and the tone of it yes. all. And I like the attention to detail that when they disappear, the bodies disappear, but the clothes are left behind. Yes, that That's so a cool, cool detail to have in here. And the poor Shiba Inu. Aww. Walking around by itself. You know what kind of dog that is? Yeah, it was a Shiba Inu. Hmm. It's the same dog as in the Doge meme. You seen the Doge meme? Yes, and. <laughs> well, I audited a groundsling class. Into, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's okay, you'll look it up later. <laughs> yeah, sure. I might, maybe, perhaps. But yeah, you're right about the transitions and stuff. Oh, but really cool. That one with the, there's just one specifically where it had the flowers kind of bloomed and then withered and it turned into like the fabric. It, Whatever that, the person or the creature standing there was. I have no idea what this is about, but it looked like they were sort of cleansing the earth, overpopulation, yeah. like kind of that vibe. And because then you got that image. Some people got left behind. You got some people left behind. Huh, that's an apocalyptic rapture. Rupture? Rapture. Rapture. Rupture. Rupture. <laughs> yeah. 
spinal rupture, rupture. <laughs> uh, rapture. Uh, rapture. Right. Then you got the flowers blooming into life as well. Mm. So it looked like they were starting kind of a, a, you know, like a new, new cleanse for the world. Yeah, I really want to know, like, yeah, what's the story behind this? Let's watch. Uh, let's watch the presentation yeah. that leads into the trailer. I really want to hear her talk too. So yeah, I'm. Yeah. yeah. Shut up, Paula. Let's watch this. Please welcome the founder of Tango Gameworks, Mr. Shinji Mikami. I want an announcer voice like that. Please welcome the founder. Tango Gameworks. Hello. <laughs> Say hi back. Hello. Say hi back. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'd like to start by greeting my team in Tokyo. It's Monday morning there, but they are watching. Mina Hazaras. Kyo Majimini Ariel. Tonight, I am excited to announce the next game from Tango Ghost Wire Tokyo. That was pretty cool. It is an action adventure game in which you will fight paranormal enemy and rid the city of a supernatural evil. Supernatural evil. I think you love it. I don't understand people yelling out in the middle. I don't know. Maybe that's okay. But to weird. tell you more about Ghostwire Tokyo, here is creative director at Tango, Ikumi Nakamura. Yeah, I'm excited to hear her talk about the game. It's like presenters for presenters. <laughs> yeah. Look how adorable she is. <laughs> um, so cute. Such a such a big stage makes me nervous. I'll do my best to speak in English. She's doing great. Yeah. She's doing great. <laughs> uh, we are making a new kind of action adventure game. It's spooky. <laughs> but not the survival horror game that we are known for. Huh. People are vanishing in Tokyo. You must find out why. You will encounter conspiracies and the occult. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to explore the world. Face challenges to uncover the truth and save humanity. In the game, you will meet spirits, some dangerous, some peaceful. <laughs> And survivors that each have their own stories. You will need to ask yourself, is this normal or paranormal? I ask myself this question every time I go to the office. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> we are very excited. Let's take a look. Meet the next. Thank you. Bye bye. We just watched the trailer. It, yeah. Okay, that's cool. I actually did cool. get some insight into that. I, I liked a lot of what she had to say about it. Yeah, so you're encountering different spirits, which mm -hmm. makes sense now, and maybe some of them are good and some of them are bad, and you're yeah. using it to figure out, like, what's happening and why are people disappearing yeah it seems like they obviously they're going to bring tokyo to life i like when they put a spin on places you can actually visit in the mm, world yeah like we watched the Watch Dogs trailer which puts a spin on like right, a little on london futuristic yeah. london and then here they're going to kind of bring a fully realized world to life of supernatural entities living amongst or taking over inhabiting in tokyo, tokyo. Yeah. Uh, which seems like it would be a really dangerous area but i like that touch that she's put on it that some of them are going to be good and mm -hmm. some of them are going to be bad it's not going to be black and white 
white. Mm-hmm. And there's yeah, going to be a... you have to figure it out, maybe. Yeah, the why to all this happening. There's going to be a real mystery-solving element mm-hmm. as well. Because this this could have just been, you go in there, you, you jack up some spirits and some cool boss-level modes. It seems like the adventure element is really going to be felt yeah, in terms really of like understanding the mystery. Making you go out and explore and see what you can find and piece together clues, I'm thinking, from what you're finding or interacting with. I'm interested in the fact that it's an action horror game and not an action adventure horror game and not just survival horror. I get scared really easily. And so survival horror sometimes is like too much for me. It's all happening to me. But in action horror, you know, like in like a Resident Evil or something, I feel a little more in control of what's going on because you can fight back against it. So I like that about this. Yeah, I I mean, I love survival horror games too. You can't fully escape it. Even though she said it's not going to be labeled as survival horror, Mm -hmm. I find it kind of difficult to fully avoid that considering the landscape and situation you got your main character involved in. Your main character does look like a super badass who's equipped with some of his own powers of his own. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can see how that action element is more elevated here as opposed to just purely surviving here as just a regular dude living alone in Tokyo. And I also like the inclusion that she said that sometimes you're going to encounter people that you're not sure are paranormal or yeah. not. It's just like there's this whole like mysterious thing happening, not knowing like is this person normal or paranormal? Yeah. <laughs> is this a good spirit or a bad spirit? Why are people disappearing? Should I adopt this abandoned dog? What am I going to feed yeah. the abandoned dog? What if I disappear suddenly and then the dog is abandoned? How again? much of the dog of is in the yeah, game? That's really the, what the I want to The dog should be the focus. <laughs> yeah. The dog's going to die. It's just like all no. the games. Dogs die. No. Or he becomes a little helper. I love the cinematography behind these cutscenes. This looks awesome. Yeah, I can see why does. there's a lot it of hype for it. It looks really cool. It looks really cool. All right, guys. Well, are you excited for Ghostwire Tokyo? Leave a comment down below. You guys can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Sure, but does that really count? You know what counts? Clicking that notification bell. Oh. But does that really do enough? No, you got to hit the like button. Oh, well, that takes care of the real rejects. What about Paula Deming? Well, go follow her on YouTube and Twitch. Paula Deming. Paula Deming. She's also part of the fan theme. Theory TV YouTube channel. That's, That's right. how I found her. Why are you wearing the Doctor Who shirt? Because I react to Doctor Who on Fan Theory TV. Type that into your YouTube search bar. Go check it out. It's pretty fun. Sometimes spooky. Sometimes Doctor Who is spooky. You made it work. You, you made it relevant to this video. I tied it all in together. Sayonara.